Hello everyone, this is me Jebidan. And today I will show you how to create a batch file that can detect if a file and folder exist. Now go to your Windows search bar and search up Notepad. Open up Notepad and type whatever I type on Notepad. Let us create the test file, shall we? Over you, by I. So here is our test file, right here. As you can see here, this is the code right here. The code is available in the description below. Place the name of your file in here. The batch file will detect our test file right here. If the batch file detect our test file then it will execute a command you entered at this line. Pixel pig by D. Young. For the command, I will enter a very simple command. Now if the batch file detect our test file then it will open YouTube. Free range by Mona Wonderlick. The Clock Instrumental by Ryujin. But if the batch file didn't detect our test file then it will just display a message saying, file not found. First light by Make sure the first command you entered have the exit code because the command I'm about to put is very simple. If you have a complex command then add something like the go-to command. Or, if your command is not complex and is simple like mine then just put the exit command. Mitsubachi by Smith the Mister. Save your batch file with the .bat file extension. Overthinking Instrumental by Ryujin. Here it is, our created batch file. Let's test it, shall we? As you can see here, our batch file detected the test file and once it do that, it open YouTube. Underground Stars by Lockspeeds. I'm going to rename our test file so that the batch file cannot detect our test file. As you can see here, when we rename our test file with a different name, the batch file couldn't find our test file and when the batch file can't find the R file it will show the message we stored in our batch file. Now if I rename our test file again to its original name then the batch file can detect our test file. Fly away by Rex now for the folder test. As you can see here, in order for our batch file to detect the test folder we've just created put a backward slash after the folder name. And, Viola. The batch file will display the message if it didn't detect your targeted folder. That's all for now guys if you like this video please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.